For the viewer special, we had so many suggestions, we couldn't show you all of them. So we saved this myth just for you. What do you got there? This is a Civil War sword. It's worth about $10,000, so... What are we doing with it? The fans say this one started in the Civil War. Apparently, soldiers carried a book or coins in their pockets to repel enemy swords. But could this actually work? So what's the plan? The plan is, we'll dress the ham up in the shirt, and then we'll stick the different materials in the pocket, and then start stabbing away. So the ham will be our Civil War soldier, and they'll pit the historic blade against an antique book and period coins to see if they can protect you from a sword stab. Starting with an old antique book because, well, they were probably made differently than modern books. Tori prepares to wield ye olde sword. Stab, stab, stab. Just like that. Are right, you ready? That was pretty good. Um, <laughs> wow, that's deep, but... That's, I mean, that's deep, but that's not even halfway through the book. They say the pen is mightier than the sword, and as it turns out, so is the book. That's one down, and for the next fan suggestion, the team changes tactics. Now, this idea is possibly that antique money is a little bit softer, so it might not completely deflect. It might just kind of act as a tip to the end and not go through the guy. That's the theory, but hitting the target is another thing altogether. There's no way I'm going to hit a coin. Don't say that. Believe in yourself. There is no try. There's only do. Use the sword, Grant. Ooh, it sounded like you hit one. Carrie checks if Grant was on the money. Look Maybe. At that right there. He hit this coin directly on it, and it made a little dent mark, but then it promptly slid off, see. and he stabbed the ham. Coins, yeah. no good. Well, I think the problem here is that you, your body is soft. You, you've got too much give. This is going to slide to the side, and you're just going to get stabbed. And then coins is busted. That's this old-time myth sorted. With a pocket full of coins, you'd be dead. But a good book would save you.